The story begins with Barbara sitting on a bench, smoking, and her legs crossed. Two men are watching her from a window above. These men are Schutz from the Stasi, East German secret police, and Andre. Andre is always keeping a close watch on Barbara. He is the head doctor at the hospital where Barbara is going to work. Stasi tells Andre to keep an eye on Barbara, but Andre does not seem much interested in that role. His primary priority is his patients. Barbara's new job is in the pediatric surgery department. Barbara is always under constant surveillance of the Stasi. Barbara used to work at the famous Charite Hospital in East Berlin. However, things changed when she applied to leave communist East Germany by submitting an Ausreisentrag which is an official request to exit the country. Because of this, she is arrested and moved to a small town. Now, the Stasi police spy on her. They punish her by searching her home, including conducting strip searches and cavity searches. Meanwhile during her work at hospital, Barbara keeps distance from her colleagues and tries to keep her personal life separate. Dr. Andre notices this and advises her to be more open and communicative. He offers her a ride from the hospital to her apartment. And during the drive, they talk about it. Despite the challenges, Barbara's strong dedication to her work makes her stand out in her role. In the next scene, Andre acknowledges Barbara's remarkable talent for diagnosing and treating patients. Barbara demonstrates her skills by accurately diagnosing meningitis in a young girl named Stella. Stella had been forced to work at Torgau, the toughest labor camp in socialist Germany, and had hidden in a field filled with ticks to avoid work at the camp, which resulted in her getting sick. This marked Stella's fourth visit to the hospital, and Andre initially suspected that she was merely trying to avoid work. However, Barbara intervenes and takes charge of the situation. She insists on removing the restraints placed on Stella to ensure she receives the proper care and personally diagnoses Stella's condition. During her stay in the hospital, Stella forms a deep and special bond of attachment and trust with Barbara. And this connection grows stronger because of Barbara's compassionate and warm nature. Every day, Barbara reads bedtime stories to Stella, including the adventures of Huckleberry Finn, creating a comforting and nurturing environment. Stella learns that she is pregnant and develops a strong desire to provide the best care for her child. But this makes her think about escaping from the country. And this is what even Barbara strongly desires. This shared aspiration for freedom creates a common bond between Barbara and Stella. In Barbara's case, she desires to escape to West Germany with her lover, Jorg. In the next scene, Barbara secretly rides her bike into the woods to meet Jorg. While Jorg is with Barbara, his driver, in a Mercedes, waits for him. Along the way, the driver encounters a man driving a Trabant, a boxy car commonly produced in the Eastern Bloc. The man from the East can't help but stop by the side of the road to admire the Mercedes, even commenting on the steering wheel cover that keeps the driver's hands warm in winter. It's as if the man from the East feels like he's encountered an alien from a completely different world. Despite her strong desire to be with Jorg, Barbara remains dedicated to her medical responsibilities and the well-being of her patients. In the next scene, Andre shows Barbara his own laboratory for conducting on-site sample testing and his serums for treating patients because it takes too long to wait for the serum from the market endangering the patient's life. He proudly shows Barbara his laboratory and grants her permission to use it whenever she needs it. In his laboratory, Andre presents Barbara with a print of Rembrandt's painting The Anatomy Lesson of Dr. Nikolai's Tulp and offers a thoughtful and intellectually stimulating explanation of the artwork. This profound discussion makes a lasting impact on Dr. Andre of Barbara as a keen observer. He also shares his desire to visit the city Hague one day to see Rembrandt's anatomy lesson in person. However, he acknowledges that his chances of being granted such a trip are quite slim. In the next scene, Andre takes over the night shift for Barbara because she is too tired to continue. The next morning, Andre shares a story with Barbara, although she questions its truthfulness. According to him, he had lost his job at a more prestigious hospital in Berlin because of a tragic accident involving an advanced incubator imported from New Zealand. This accident resulted from a mistake made by his female co-worker, 
who may have had feelings for him. She offered to cover his shift while he was tired, but during her time with the incubators, she confused Celsius with Fahrenheit, causing two premature infants to suffer retinal detachment and go blind. To keep the incident quiet, the Stasi agreed to let him relocate to the provincial hospital and work for them. As a result, Andre now reports on suspected individuals, including Barbara, for the Stasi. When Barbara asks Andre if there's any way to keep Stella in the hospital, he sadly replies that there wasn't. In the following scene, they are unable to find legitimate reasons to keep Stella in the hospital any longer. She is forcibly returned to the labor camp against her will. At the same time, Barbara goes on secret bicycle trips to a hidden location where she stores the funds she receives from her boyfriend Jorg, who has been providing her with valuable items for their planned escape. As Barbara spends more time working closely with Andre, he starts making romantic advances towards her. This includes frequently giving her rides from the hospital to her house, making coffee for her, and occasionally covering her shifts so she can get some rest. During a brief visit to Barbara's house, Andre notices a piano in her apartment. When he asks her if she plays, she mentions that it's out of tune, suggesting that she has made an effort to play it but hasn't been able to enjoy it due to its condition. In a kind gesture, Andre arranges for a piano tuner to come to her apartment to fix it. Despite all of Andre's efforts and romantic gestures, Barbara doesn't reciprocate his feelings. She eventually tells him not to assist her any further and she can survive on her own. In the next part of the story, Barbara has a second meeting with Jorg at an inter hotel, which is a hotel in East Germany meant for foreigners. During this rendezvous, Jorg shares his finalized plan for Barbara's escape, which is set to take place the following weekend. According to the plan, she will be picked up in a small boat on the Baltic Sea and transported to Denmark, which is not far away. Jorg also assures her that once she reaches West Germany, she won't have to work anymore, indicating a promise of a new and better life for her. Suddenly, Jorg has to leave for an urgent meeting at the restaurant where he works. During his absence, Barbara meets another woman who is in a similar kind of relationship with a man from West Germany. This woman confesses to Barbara that their relationship is primarily based on materialistic interests. This encounter makes Barbara start to question the true nature of her relationship with Jorg, causing her to reflect on whether it's driven by genuine feelings or if there are other motives at play. One day before her planned escape, Barbara is on duty taking care of a critically ill patient named Mario. He had been hospitalized after attempting suicide. Andre is deeply concerned about Mario's condition and continually assesses whether there is any brain damage as this assessment will help determine the need for surgery. Barbara realizes while on duty that Mario's recovery from his traumatic head injury has been hindered because he doesn't show any emotions when his girlfriend visits him he had left her a goodbye letter before attempting suicide. Worried about Mario's urgent need for surgery, she rushes to find Andre, even though it's his day off, to inform him about Mario's critical situation. She discovers Andre at the home of the Stasi agent responsible for monitoring her. Andre is attending to the agent's wife, who is in the late stages of cancer. Andre manages to persuade her to return to the hospital, even on the same night as Barbara's planned escape, so that he can perform the critical surgery. Andre also asks Barbara to participate in the operation as the anesthetist because he wants her to be present. Barbara agrees to assist in the surgery. Barbara, while still planning her escape, agrees to Andre's invitation to have lunch at his home on the same day during the ride back to her home with him. During her visit, Andre suggests that Barbara read the book The District Doctor by Ivan Turgenev. This story is about longing and the search for meaning in one's life. Andre briefly describes the story to Barbara and gives her the book to keep. As Andre shares his happiness about having Barbara with him, their emotional connection intensifies, and during a moment while he's cooking, she unexpectedly kisses him. However, she abruptly pulls away and leaves to go back to her house to continue her preparations for her planned escape. Her developing feelings for Andre start to make her doubt her decision to leave East Germany with Jorg. As Barbara's emotions become more complicated and her feelings for Andre continue to grow, her plan to escape becomes increasingly difficult to execute. 
The increased surveillance by the Stasi further complicates her escape, making it even riskier to pursue her plan. During this period, Stella manages to escape from the labor youth detention program once again. However, she gets a little injured while attempting to flee and ends up at Barbara's doorstep that night. Barbara immediately takes her in, provides care, and tends to her wound, showing compassion and support for Stella in her time of need. Amidst her inner turmoil and conflicting emotions, Barbara makes a challenging choice. She decides to prioritize helping Stella escape to the West over pursuing her own plan. Barbara takes Stella to the prearranged location on the beach, where they are supposed to meet someone who will assist in smuggling Stella to safety. This selfless decision is reflected in Barbara writing a note, likely addressed to Jorg, in which she explains her decision to let Stella escape in her place. She outlines her reasons for making this choice, and after assisting Stella onto a wading raft along with a skin diver who will aid her in escaping by sea, Barbara returns to the hospital. This act demonstrates Barbara's sacrifice and her commitment to helping others, even at the cost of her own planned escape. Barbara chooses to stay in the East and be with Andre instead of pursuing her escape plans. She takes a seat across from Andre, who is keeping a watchful eye on Mario at his bedside. In a poignant final close-up, their eyes meet, conveying a deep mutual understanding and connection between them. This closing scene suggests that Barbara has found a sense of belonging and purpose in her commitment to her work and her relationship with Andre. Thanks for watching. Hope so you enjoyed the content. Kindly subscribe to our channel for more such amazing stories.